So, we survived 2022. <laughs> I mean, personally, I survived 2022. Only just, I mean, December did try and finish me off, but we will get to that. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've done a, a talkie to camera because I haven't kind of done that kind of vlog this year. Um, but I didn't do a whole lot in December that was vloggable. The only things I've really done in December is work um, and uh, smash things. Again, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, but first of all, the main thing that I did actually do in December that I vlogged was the York Market. And we met up with my sisters and some friends and it was a great time. Where are we going, Jay? Right. Where are we going? I don't know. I've got nowhere now. <laughs> got nowhere now. Don't know where we're going. Yeah. yeah. We made it. Let yeah. me just. I just hate it when there's people. <laughs> Josh's face. <laughs> He's happy. Jaden's in his happy place. <laughs> oh yeah, you got crackling. Christmas <laughs> Eve. Sphere's becoming a food blogger. What is it out of ten? Oh my god. Ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh you got crackling. Oh, I got crackling, mate. Oh, you can have a rest later. It's all good, I'm not gonna be my game. That's gonna be a thing. What did you get, Jay? I got the the pork wrap with cranberry on it as well. Oh, so Yorkshire wrap. pudding wrap. Yorkshire pudding wrap. That should be just drops on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting an hour in, like, like, like an hour in the Gravy queue. soaked potato. Oh goodness. Trigger warning. I'm a big boy. Three hours later. Trigger warning. Two <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so erotic. You can blur it. Blur it. <laughs> Wait, no, don't censor it. That'll look really weird. <laughs> <laughs> don't blur it. <laughs> I can't stop and start your video. That's all right. I've got a finger, so. Film it all. Look at Lana. Taking me 90 years to eat this. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Is it all you ever <laughs> dreamed? Mm hmm. There you go. I'm gonna open. My jam. <laughs> I thought your camera was facing the, the other way. way. And you're like, hello. <laughs> Trying to get the bubbles. Mama. Woo. Pretty. <laughs> you're not Yeah. <laughs> oh, your eyeballs. That was not good. That was not a good look. <laughs> Did you have fun? Why am I embarrassing? You're embarrassing. No, you're embarrassing. You're embarrassing. So, after. Well, actually. Um. <laughs> where to start with this month 
um about two days before we went to york um we had the first frost of the year and um it came on quite suddenly and it was incredibly cold um and none of the roads had been gritted or anything because it, it just sort of happened so quickly and being me and being stupid i decided it would be a good idea to continue driving around as normal and going to my clients that are right out in the middle of nowhere so basically there was this one particular road that i went down that is literally a road in the middle of nowhere it is a single track road between fields and there is when i say there's nothing near it there is nothing near it and it, the road started off fine and then after about three or four miles it was very apparent that it was not fine <laughs> it was basically just an ice rink like sheer thick ice everywhere and i lost grip on the car and i could feel that i was just basically skimming over the top and then it i felt the wheels started to fully skid so i turned into the skid which i've been taught by my dad and the car straightened up and i was like phew but just as i had that moment of relief the car then went the other way and this time it went quite quickly it just went woof like that and i panicked and turned into that skid and just ended up going full 360 um off the road and smacked into a tree on the side of the road the whole car went up on two wheels and then down i thought the car was going to go over thank goodness it didn't but as you can imagine i was pretty shaken up i didn't think i'd done that much damage because i'd gone very slowly and to be fair it could have been worse I tried to reverse off the tree and pull back onto the road and it was only when i reversed off the tree that i realized that the whole bumper and right wing was hanging off. I managed to find my license plate in three pieces scattered up the road. How that happened, I have no idea. It was all, I was like, where's my license plate gone? And was finding bits of it in a bush, bits of it about 40 yards away. It was mad. That's my dad, he did manage to come and, and rescue me. And um, he had the brilliant idea, instead of trying to get it back on the road, because the field was frozen solid, he was like, reverse it onto the field. So he reversed it onto the field and he, I just watched my car with its whole front hanging off, be reversed by my dad up up the field uh, to where the tractors get on and off the field. And he handbrake turned it off the field onto the road like a madman. He did it and he rescued me and we got the car home. But then that meant the car was smashed fortunately it was only really sort of cosmetic damage but still not the best and then <laughs> because tragedy comes in threes that wasn't the only thing that i smashed this month about a week later i'm pottering about in the kitchen i realized that the cat's water fountain um is run out of water so i thought like, i need to get a jug fill it with water and fill up the water fountain and the jugs had, for some reason, had been put on top of the fridge. And I was like, oh, they're up there. I have a little stool, like a collapsible stool, in the kitchen, specifically for me, because I am short. And I got on the stool, and I tried to reach them, and I pulled them, and I thought I hadn't got them, but I had. And they came shooting off the top of the fridge and smashed onto the side of the kitchen. You'd think jugs, they broke, no they were made of solid plastic so they were fine however my very expensive pixel phone that was laid face up on the kitchen counter was smashed like completely smashed like the whole thing smashed it's like a brick fell on it i just screamed i couldn't believe what had just happened and my brother, Jaden, comes running down the stairs and he's like, what's wrong, what's wrong? I was explaining to Jaden how I had just smashed my phone and I was infuriated and devastated. And I picked up the stool that I had just been standing on, collapsed it shut and threw it to the side where it had been previously stored. And because I was upset, I'd obviously thrown it with 
a bit of force and rather than just sitting in its place it bounced off the wall landed on my foot and broke my toe yeah so in the period of about eight days i managed to smash the car my phone and my foot <sighs> and about two days before i smashed my phone basically everybody in my family barring me and my brother got covid some of them for the first time how did i cope with all the stresses of december you might ask um i put a poll on instagram asking people what color i should dye my hair can you guess which one they picked <laughs> I know that they say you shouldn't like cut your hair, dye your hair, do anything when you're having a depressive episode. But this genuinely made me feel better. It genuinely did. Just having a change, it made me feel better. So do you know what? Don't knock it. So um, December has tried to really finish me off. But I will say this. Um, 2022, I'm talking for me personally because as a society as a as a human species we are on the brink of economic and social apocalypse but personally um 2022 wasn't that bad it was all right now bear in mind i'm comparing it with the previous three years and let's face it that wasn't a high bar to cross um but generally speaking uh december aside 2022 has been a better year it's only when you get to the end of the year you realize like it comes so quickly and you're like where did the year go but it's only when you look back and see what you've actually done in the year that you realize oh actually a year is a significant amount of time it was nice to be able to do more and see more people and and be out really December 31st and we are going to see the year out in style um, although the weather is miserable and everyone's still recovering from Covid um, my uncle and auntie, my parents and my sisters everyone is now finally testing negative so since everyone's been trapped indoors for weeks we are going to go out no matter what the weather's doing, we're going out. Are you happy? He's <laughs> got a face. Layla's happy. Hey. Is mummy happy? Lana's upset because she can't get sea glass because the water's covering the water sand. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We're still having fun, aren't we? Yeah. We can have fun even though it's raining. Yeah, we can splash in the puddles. Yes. Well, you've got your wellies on, haven't you? You know where all the, all the doors are? They're very colourful. Yeah, they are. It is very colourful. <laughs> Should we walk? Yeah, well, what? She wants to walk with you. Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, show me the bits, Jenga. Oh, what's that? That's not glass, but it's a very pretty stone. Oh, it's it's very close. Well done. Layla found a bit of sea glass straight away, didn't you, Layla? Uh -huh. Oh, let's have a look how much Alana's got. Oh, wow, she's got some green ones as well. Wow! I <laughs> oh wow! Oh, that's very cool. 
<laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, I'm okay now. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> you are very good at that. Genius. Hey, Dave. You know I said about what the name of this place was. Can you remember? Scarborough. Yeah, but can you remember what this place in Scarborough is called? Beach. Yeah. <laughs> you see the name on the building? Mills. Mills, that's right. And what are you? Mills. What am I? Mills. What is he? What is she? She is a mills. <laughs> she nearly, she nearly <laughs> forgot. All the mills in Scoby Mills. See you next year. Yeah. See you next year. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Lana's made us hot chocolates to take up the uh, <laughs> take up Oliver's mount. We'll see if we can see the fireworks. I'm hoping it's not raining. I think it is raining, but we will see how we do. <laughs> we oh, oh, look so pretty. Are you cold? Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. She got marshmallows and cream. You are a genius. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm Can you see me? Right. Can you see me? Can you see me? And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change. I thought I'd do a lot of things. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago <laughs> Is it midnight? Yeah. It's midnight! <laughs> Back a year ago. 